Halloween Hodson's still on the books as it stands today, but in the last week Rangers has released two players from their contracts. So you're telling me there's a chance. Glorious! No, I will give in, I will give in till I'm victorious! Hello everyone, this is CJ Novo992, and today we're back for another brand new video. Today's video is going to be an extremely short one, but there is some breaking news from Rangers Football Club. You'll know by that deliciously clickbaity title. So come in, take a seat, trickle in, and hit that like button while you're there, please. We're almost at 18k as well, so if you don't mind subscribing, I'd greatly appreciate that. It is a Wednesday, I normally don't upload, but there is. You ain't Rocky. Shut up. Sh shut up. Now, as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by not Rocky. I normally don't upload on a Wednesday, but there is a bit of news, so I'm going to keep this one mega short and condensed and just provide you with the latest and breaking news from Rangers Football Club. So, yeah, it should be a fun episode. Let's go. Harry Forrester has mutually agreed to terminate his contract from employment at Rangers Football Club, meaning he's now a free agent, so we've basically paid him off. Hopefully it wasn't a lot. Now, Harry Forrester is a very weird one. I'm interested to know what your feelings are on this story are right away because I'm sure you've got initial reactions. So if you don't mind giving me that down in the comment section below, I'd greatly, greatly appreciate it. And it's a weird one with Harry Forrester because is he the worst football player at the club or was at the club? I certainly don't think so. Um, That guy's probably be up there. So is Hodson, let's be fair. All the H's really. They're almost like everyone begin with H isn't good enough. Hodson. Halliday. Holt. Herrera. That's almost like a nervous twitch now whenever I say Herrera. I've got today like a too sweet. Something's wrong there. But back to Forrester himself, he's a very, very talented football player. I'd say he was talented, ill-disciplined, maybe didn't have the greatest work rate. But on the ball, I thought he was good, he was feisty, he was aggressive. For a couple of games, especially in that first season back in the SPFL, he carried us, let's be fair. He was fantastic against Dundee. Um, he scored a beautiful overhead kick. He was he looked like a star man. I think I even seen one of the videos on one of the earliest videos on my channel. This guy looks like he's going to be son. He's a bit aggressive. He looks like he really knows what it takes to play for Rangers. Now, for whatever reason why he was dropped from the club by Mark Warburton, whether that's crazy rumours or real fact, let's be fair, or first initial memories is that past he should have done versus Celtic to Joe Dodo. I mean that just summed up both their careers he was invisible no one ever saw him Dodo he's just where is he Blackpool cool he's still invisible and Forrester made a bad mistake a silly mistake a stupid error wasn't smart enough and then that sort of summed up his Rangers career just wasn't smart enough never go back in the squad again there's all these talks about lack of professionalism like for training and that but I'm not going to get into that because the guy stood up for himself in Twitter and says you don't care what happens behind uh, closed doors so I'm not going to go and put out there whatever reason it didn't quite work out for him we can only just go and sort of put the pieces together that we have heard but his contract's been mutually terminated and honestly if, apart from that what that one stupid stupid mistake against Celtic I'm actually I was pretty happy with Forrest I thought he was a very very talented football player and I wish him all the best he sh still should have passed though I'm still no at it no no even leave it thanks now I'm getting angry so that's me actually done talking about Harry Forrester and as always I asked the people on Twitter just like I'm asking the people on YouTube to get involved in the section below. Right, on Twitter there was 923 votes in the hour that this was uploaded. I says, reaction to Harry Forrester's contract being mutually terminated. Do you agree with the decision on on on? As I turn my brightness down on 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 as I'm looking ghostly, ghostly, ghostly. Uh, so 923 votes, 12% votes for no, but 88% votes for yes, they agree with the decision. Uh, Snagsy says he used he used to sell toxic mushroom tea, and I'm not fucking kidding. Charlotte and on and off the ball. <laughs> Geo at Geo RFC said Deadwood and has been there for ages now. Few more off the net wage bill would be nice. That's actually going to be a question I'm about to ask the people watching this video in the next couple of minutes. But yeah, spoiler alert. Thanks for that, Geo. Uh, Mark says I liked him, but he was stealing a wage. <laughs> <laughs> why is that why is that made me laugh so much I don't get it uh, William Wallace says could we not have got a few quid for him that's a very very good question because obviously he played very well with one but surely we would have got Sun for him if we're willing to accept Sun somebody would have stumped up Sun but I don't know maybe it's just been they just want to get rid of him quickly and be like right you're not in the squad we're not wanting you around the squad so it's just better just to accept the agreements and again we didn't agree uh, we don't know what they've actually agreed behind the scenes it could just be a, a part of ways and they didn't pay anything we don't actually know uh, hopefully I did though that would be nice Harry next one I'm reading out comes from Joe Fletcher he says Joe Dudu has been avenged uh, <laughs> still too soon Jay 
Jai Kirk says, was never played. Time to find someone somewhere to get a game for him. Um, and Sparky Photographer says, think he never got a fair tr crack at it. Think he could have been a great number 10 with the right coaching, but maybe with the attitude wasn't right in training. Again, that's one of these things we've heard. But that's actually a very good point. Again, I think he's a good football player. I don't know. There's, there's something in there. And that's why I'm wishing him all the best. And the last two that we'll read out come from Andrew Price. He was Boz CJ. And Roy at hashtag let's go says... Yes, more of the book. So that has been the people's opinion. That has been mine. You know what to do by now if you want to get yours involved. Now, it's time for the sponsor break while well, I look for it. Uh, so make sure you be grabbing your refreshments. Here it's here. Side-eyed. Three, two, one. Sponsor break. <laughs> Now we've actually reached the final part of today's episode, that's right, sad face. But it's just going to be a quick question for the people that watch it to the very end of the video. It's going to be a simple one. Now that we've had Bruno Alves paid off the books, we've now had Harry Forrester paid off the books, who would be the next person, if it was up to you watching this video just now, who would be the next one on the target? Mine's is him. Alright? And I'll tell you why. The fact that he came on the other day when Docherty was sitting on the bench doing nothing makes me sick. And scares me for the season. What's going on? Does Halliday have nudes on Dave King? They're sad no right. But that's just my opinion. I'm sure you might have someone different by the name of H as well. It's almost like all the H's aren't good enough. Think about it. I've been CG Nova 92. If you don't mind smashing the like button, I'd greatly appreciate it. And again, if you're new to the channel, make sure to be subscribing. Charity tickets in the link below. Thank you for watching and bye bye. <laughs>